Hello souls, how are you? Today's reading is a little bit different. I want to have fun on this topic. The topic is what are your magic powers? So let's check what, your, what are your magical powers. Pick your pile as usual from one to five. You could also pick a number from one to five and we will see what are your magical powers. Let's start with pile number one. You have the ability to shift people's destiny and uh, you can do it either for good, for the better, either for the worse. And uh, it depends on uh, your mood. So let's see. Yes, you have a uh, really strong energy uh, and you are uh, somehow, you're, however you are trying to suppress this energy you have uh, inside you because maybe in the past you have uh, noticed that when you're really upset with somebody some uh, bad things are happening to this person and uh, you have a really clear idea about these uh, powers you have and uh, that's why you are trying not to use them you're trying to suppress your energy and not think about this because this really scares you a lot that you may be the cause for somebody's uh, mm, situation, sad situation. What should you do? Let's see what is the advice for you. Well, the advice is uh, to stop su suppressing these energies and stop uh, it looks like you're uh, almost like bashing yourself uh, for this uh, again and again and you feel really bad maybe you feel pain in your back and this is because you um keep repeating your head over and over again that you should control your thoughts yes you had previous negative experience with your superpowers and uh, this is the reason you are trying to control them and what is the actual advice what the advice is to be really um, to be really objective uh, with the people around you. You need to avoid uh, emotional being emotional and uh, avoid emotional choices and decisions. You have to be um, as much uh, impersonal as possible, like uh, the justice system. So uh, before mm, getting angry at somebody, you need to remember also their good traits and uh, also think if uh, the punishment you believe they deserved is really uh, in the amount they uh, have you consider that they have done you wrong something bad or wrong so be as fair as possible and also another advice 
is to stay closer to nature and try to relax a little bit more. Um, do some grounding uh, activities like uh, gardening, uh, getting your house in order, uh, cleaning, uh, cooking. All these activi activities will ground you and will help you to calm down and eventually to be less aggressive. What should you do with uh, the positive side when you can shift somebody's luck to a better place? You need to get uh, some sort of a teacher or advisor who will be able to guide you and uh, direct you. And uh, this is, I have the feeling that this is some sort of uh, institution or a, a school because we have uh, four of ones which card represents the four walls of a building. And we have uh, the hair front which could represent an institution. And at the end we have uh, the king of swords uh, which is a specialist and advisor. So... Consider this as an option. Some spirit guides, spiritual teacher who knows how, who will help you to use your energies for good things. Okay, let's continue with pile number two. Wow. You have a lot of energy and uh, your superpower, your magical power is to destruct everything that is uh, built on bad foundations. Like uh, if there's something wrong within a system, something corrupted, uh, you, you're the first one to see it and to show it to the others and you maybe you're like a um, catalyst for this sort of events so if something is not healthy you're the person who will make things shift and if there's a corruption, you will show it to everybody and this corrupted system won't work anymore. Yes, you have the ability through your energy to shift uh, changes that were uh, awaited from a very long time. And... Uh, you make them happen when uh, people at least expect it. What is the advice? I'm laughing because my cat is trying to get on the table. <laughs> What is the advice for you? <laughs> and here he is. <laughs> so the advice for you is to leave the burden you're carrying with you. Uh, don't try to be responsible for uh, everybody and for everything. Take uh, only what is uh, good for you. Don't try to carry everybody's burden, everybody's problem. So... 
take uh, only the things that you can control and direct. Don't try to solve other people's problems. And uh, also forget about the past. The past won't return anymore. The past is over. It's in the past. So stop uh, being sad about things that uh, you have might change, but you didn't. Maybe you lost opportunities. Maybe things that you believe that you could have uh, changed. Some sort of events with your energy. It, uh, it's not true. What was meant to be, to happen, happened. So it's not your fault. Live in the current moment. That was all for you, pile number two. And let's continue with pile number three. What are your magical powers? You have the ability to bring competition and uh, energize people who usually are uh, really, really passive, really like going with the flow. And as uh, soon as you appear, they start to compete and to fight in the good uh, sense. Like... Uh, they're trying to show themselves in the best light. You also have the ability to create a good uh, environment, uh, maybe the interior designs uh, or something like this you have uh, the ability to create a uh, harmony and uh, good energy coziness in your environment with uh, very small money like uh, with few uh, books you may create a very luxury atmosphere what is the advice for you The advice is more, uh, not that much of advice, but more of a message. And it's a message from some spirit guides that you don't want to hear because you are uh, in your comfort zone. And these spirit guides are trying to contact you, but you are making everything possible in order not to listen to them why why they want to contact you this is a this could be a spouse yes i believe this is a spouse what they want to tell you It, it's interesting that we have two male figures and we have two females here with the dead card. So let's see. They are uh, telling you to maybe the message is not only for you but also from for another uh, woman next to you. 
and they are uh, telling you to move on and to start uh, uh, giving and receiving yes you are stuck and you are uh, you feel like uh, mm, you cannot move for some reason from a toxic situation like you feel uh, bonded somehow and uh, they are telling you to move forward and to get it over stop trying to keep going with all this burden move forward and make your dreams come true that was all for pile number three let's continue with pile number four what are your magical powers you have the magical power to synthesize i don't i'm not sure if this is the correct form or verb uh, you have the magical power and ability to get clear picture over a situation even when there is a big chaos you know how to um, put everything in few words and find uh, the fastest and uh, shortest way to the solution what else you are not afraid to move forward and to start again even after uh, a heartbreak and uh, you had have uh, in the past uh, really difficult situations in your life but you always continue moving forward even with uh, with the broken heart you continued and you created your own uh, paradise you transformed from a little child and a little and naive child that you were in the past uh, after the sorrow after when a period uh, when you were feeling trapped you continue following your heart and uh, you continue with your life even after uh, after these uh, hurts you received what is the advice from the cards mm, there's a little bit of a warning and uh, they are telling you that uh, very soon you will receive a proposal or some kind of an offer and everything will sound will sound very good and uh, very temptating but um, as you see this offer is coming from the devil this means that uh, there are hidden conditions there's something uh, that you don't see and there's a trap so the advice is not to offer this offer even if it looks uh, really really good bear in mind that there's something hidden and you should reject the offer yes there's this warning don't don't accept it that was all for pile number four let's continue with pile number five What is your magical power? Mm. 
You can do something really beautiful with your hands and uh, other people are admiring you for this. You have some sort of a craft that nobody else can do, not at the same level. You transform things into something uh, beautiful. And uh, maybe you are selling these items over the internet. But it's really something really beautiful and um, that has uh, some energy. It uh, almost looks like something alive. Maybe you make uh, some paintings or some mm, sculptures. And uh, this is a talent you have uh, from your ancestors. This is uh, something you have uh, received as a gift from your uh, ancestors and you know it uh, actually. If you don't know it, uh, check it out because there's a document or something that will show you that uh, you have receive this craft or this gift by your ancestors uh, um, by uh, your father's line there's some hidden gift you have received from your father's line what is the advice You will have a really, really good idea in the near future. You will get a really good idea. And the advice is to grab this idea, to act with it. So move forward with this idea and uh, it will be a really successful idea. It will bring you to success. That was all for you, pile number five. If you liked this reading, leave a comment below and I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye.